Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial we're going to have a look at how we make these three kind of concentric circles in Adobe Photoshop. So basically creating a circle and then with three outlines to it. So um, we're going to grab the circle tool or the ellipse tool from the left hand side here, which allows us to draw ellipses in Photoshop. And then I'm going to come up to the top left here and we're going to click and hold. And as we're dragging out this circle here, we're going to hold down shift and that's going to keep it as a perfect circle. Now I want to make this circle completely centered um, within the, the canvas here. And there's a couple different ways of doing this. Now if you grab the move tool, then when you move that circle, you should be able to find the center by dragging it horizontally and vertically. And you'll either get this square around the outside, um, and then also you might get these purple lines along the middle as well. Now another way that we can do this as well is if I just kind of move this back up to the top left, is if we grab the ellipse here and then hold down shift in our layers, we can use the align tools up at the top. So it's going to align that circle using the align center vertically and horizontally. It's going to align that to the center. So now we need to create the fill for our circles here. So I'm going to grab our ellipse and we're going to come to the properties options here. Now in previous version of Photoshop, you may need to grab the layer, the ellipse layer, and then also select the ellipse tool here as well on the left hand side to get access to the color. But in the most recent version of Photoshop, you can basically do that all in one go. So we're going to select the fill color here, and I've got a couple of colors saved here for a particular project I'm working on. And we're going to select the yellow first for the kind of inside color of this ellipse. And then we are going to go to our outline here and we're gonna select the blue as the outline for our circle. So now we wanna make sure the alignment is right and get the kind of width of this set up. So I'm gonna come down to this slider here in my properties, and you'll see this as well if you have the ellipse selected up in the top here in the options toolbar. And we can just slide this up, and it's basically gonna increase the width of that outline to wherever we want it. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be 130 and hit enter. And I'm happy with the, the kind of width of that. So now what I wanna do is kind of create those different colors of outline that we have um, in the, the kind of example I showed at the beginning. So I'm gonna grab my move tool and we are gonna right click on the layer here and go to duplicate layer. And it's gonna make a copy of that ellipse. Now, when I come to kind of transform this, I'm gonna to go to edit and free transform. It's gonna transform it in proportion in the latest version of Photoshop, but it's gonna transform it down to the bottom right. So you can see I'm transforming the circle and it's transforming down to the bottom right, which I don't want. So basically I'm gonna press escape there and then come to edit and free transform again. And this time when I transform it, I'm gonna hold down the option key and it's gonna to transform to the middle. So basically, with the option key held down, I can transform it to the middle, and I just wanna make sure it's hiding that yellow there that's in the, the background. So once we've got that set up, we're gonna hit enter. And the nice thing about doing it this way is that it keeps the width of that outline, so they're all gonna be exactly the same. We might need to do a, bit, do a little bit of tweaking as we uh, kind of get this set up, but basically the outlines are all gonna be the right width. So I'm gonna select the orange here. So I'm gonna zoom in, actually, I'm gonna use Command and Plus to zoom in, and then we'll just scroll up to the top and I'm going to use free transform again and I'm just going to hold down the option key so I know it's going to stay centered I'm just going to transform it down so I'm making sure I'm matching up perfectly with that blue line so just zooming in to check the detail of it and then command and zero to zoom back out and then I'm going to duplicate this next one so there's a couple ways of duplicating things I can select it here and then drag it down to the new layers button and it will make a copy of it or I can right click and use duplicate layer so now for this inside circle, I'm gonna select the red I've got here. And once I've got that red selected, I'll click away, make sure I've got my layer still selected in the layers panel. And then we'll go to edit and free transform. Shortcut for that is command and T or control and T on the PC. And so we can hold down the option key and then we can set that up. So basically now we've got those three kind of concentric circles. Um, again, we can kind of zoom in on the edge here and make sure 
that we're getting. So holding down the option key again, getting them nice and close together. Um, but the outline for each of these will be the same because of the way we, we have this set up. So that's how to create this kind of shape with these different concentric outlines. Now one other way in which we can do this, um, so I'm going to select all these layers and we will right click and make a group from those layers. So we'll call this circles one and I'm going to make a new circle. So I'm going to click on the background again. I'm just going to hide these ones that I already had there and we'll grab a new circle. And this time we'll kind of do the reverse. So I'm going to draw around here and we will select the fill for our shape. So I'm selecting it up in the options toolbar here, more out of habit than anything else from previous versions of Photoshop that I've worked with. And we'll set the outline width here to say 125 pixels again. And I'm going to pull this again into the middle looking for those markers when I get the the cross in the middle there. So now with this layer, I'm going to double click here and I'm going to choose the stroke option. So with the stroke option, um, you can see I've got a stroke now around my circle and here I can set the width to 125. It's outside my circle so I know that I've got the same width around the outside as I do on the inside. So I can select a different color here um, and or I can pop up to my swatch so you can see I can hover the color picker up here to kind of pick out a particular swatch that I want to use. So I'll select that orange, click OK and click OK. So now we just have one layer with the ellipse and the stroke. But here with this method we can only really add two strokes um, to this particular layer. So the first method that we looked at of creating those different circles is really going to give you the most control. Obviously if we want to modify the outline of these, so the width, then we would need to select each one individually and say so we're going to modify it to 200 pixels. Then we would need to come through all of these um, and kind of modify them and then also rescale those layers as well so that we kind of see the adjusted width that we have on the outside there and then also holding down the option key so we, we see that. It's pretty easy to make adjustments for the most part. You can see here with this third ellipse that I've got here, I've kind of lost the, the controls up here. I've got the mask options up here and not the, the properties of the, the shape itself. So you may need to at some point come back to the shape in the toolbar um, to access those to then modify your width here. We'll set this to 200 so it's the same as the others. So that's how to create these kind of concentric circles in Adobe Photoshop. And one last thing to mention as well is that we could use the same method um, to use a different shape as well. So if we come to our shapes and we select the rounded rectangle tool, we'll stretch this out and we'll increase the number of pixels. So let's make this a 200 pixel roundness at the edge. And then we can increase the, the width of that as well. Now, we don't have a fill on this rounded rectangle, which kind of offers up some other different opportunities here. So if we keep this rounded rectangle here and then hold down the option key and drag it up, and if we go to the one below, we'll change the color here. You can see now when we increase the width of that, we increase it just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna change the alignment of my outline here. So you can see we can actually get those outlines working nicely together. So I'm just going to change the alignment of this one too. So we've got the inside edge, which we've got selected here. We can change it to align to centrally to the edge. And so now you can see we can start to build up these different uh, shapes as well, which kind of gets quite interesting. So again, if we duplicate this one more time, so I duplicate the background one there, we'll set this to a different color. And then again, we will increase the width of that. Not quite that much. Okay, you can see we can start to build up these outlines in Adobe Photoshop. So I hope that's useful. If you have any questions about creating these kind of concentric outlines, either the circular ones or these rectangle style shapes, then leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.